little slower at the beginning. Here we go. Three, four. Log jam in the middle of the standings. Five teams coming in at two and two, including Gorham and Greeley. They face tonight. Greeley up 28 nothing in the third. Gorham going to the air, but Shane DeWolf is there for the interception. They keep the shutout alive. Rangers didn't score in the second half, but the combo of Joey Casella, Tim Coyle, Naveen Caron, and Will Shoemaker ate up a lot of time and a lot of yards on the ground. 28 to nothing, Greeley. What's new after a slow start? Greeley's won three straight. They have Noble next week. Facing Sanford tonight, Bon Eagle. Took the lead early on and never looked back. Sanford trying to mount a comeback, but Nick Thorne coming in. The sack, it's going to end up an Arlo Pike touchdown recovery. Von Eagle in control later in the third. Crazy play here. Frankie Vino to Ethan Belanger. What a catch. That's going to put the Spartans back in the game. But in the fourth, Christian Napolitano takes the handoff and goes in for 6-58-22. Bonnie Eagle, they'll face Thornton Academy in a battle trying to end a three-game losing streak at unbeaten Cape. First quarter, Jeb Boeschestein. Airs it out to Ben Ekdahl. That's going to be six right there. 13 to nothing. Capers on top. In the second, it's Brett McAllister. The five-yard touchdown run. 56 to nothing. Cape. They're at Wells next week. Battle of Bunton Beatons to end the season. single file and shoulder to shoulder hundreds of law enforcement in blue tan green red and brown linger after the funeral waiting for one more final goodbye this graveside ceremony silent but for a 21 gun salute and taps a show of respect and gratitude. The American flag draped on Corporal Cole's casket, carefully folded and handed to Cole's wife of more than 40 years. The ceremony culminating in something rarely seen in Maine. A flyover involving pilots from four Maine law enforcement agencies. A final goodbye to a hero fallen, but never forgotten. Guns drawn, SWAT teams deploy, officers in tactical gear. The massive manhunt for an alleged killer enters day two. We do have some belief that he might still be in the area. John Williams is still on the run, 24 hours after police say he gunned down Corporal Eugene Cole. This was a senseless act against a committed public servant. The search leaving some in fear. The fear that he might steal somebody's car, or break into somebody's home in the area. But others are locked and loaded. Last night I slept with my gun right beside my bed. 
Get your Sea Dogs program here, second edition. Sea Dog fans dealing with the three H's tonight. Hazy. Well, today I brought a washcloth and I took it in the ladies' room and I wet it down and I'm ready to go. Hot. My way of staying cool enough is plenty of those iced coffees. And humid. Lots of water. Lots of water and lots of ice cream. Right, right. The Bellamy Jazz Band had plenty of cool tunes. While Hadlock Field had plenty of water, frozen treats, and yes, even a portable fan that works with your smartphone. Now if water, cold towels, and ice cream didn't work, you can always come right inside here to the Portland room where it is nice and air conditioned and fans are welcome to stay in here anytime during the game. But if you need a chilling thought to cool things down, think back to those early days in April when the game time temperature struggled to get above 40. At Hadlock Field in Portland, Davey, Fox 23 News at 10.